All right, my friends, I wanna go through the digital display that is on the Badlands Edition or the Outer Banks. It is the bigger display um, that you do not get on the base of the Big Ben. Um, so we're just checking this out. So first of all, you've got some options right here. Um, these let you know for your menu, uh, back button, or to adjust to hit enter or go up or down. So let's go play with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the menu button. Um, that's gonna bring me some uh, options here I can go through audio navigation phone I can go through settings um, let's go into select screen so hit the OK button and these will let me select a certain amount of screens not all of them um, right now I have seat belts uh, the comm screen fuel economy I have trip one not trip two not tire pressure I have intelligent four-wheel drive uh, off-road and trailer check light all enabled then if I hit the back button we can get out of here um, you can go into audio uh, and that will let you make a couple of selections between the sources um, we can go into navigation um, we go in there to let you go and look at my home previous destinations favorites point of interest nearby uh, if we back out of that we can go into phone I don't have a phone connected right now um, or we can go into settings. So if we go into settings, we can look at oil life. It will be 100% as this vehicle is brand new. Uh, and if we back out of there, we can go um, back into display setup, which is uh, miles an hour or kilometers. Um, so let's back right out of that and you'll see the screens that I have enacted. So by toggling up or down, you can see I'm in comm screen. So this is if you don't want a lot of information. Um, just shows me that I've got my auto headlights on, daytime running lights are running, um, I'm headed south, it's minus 10 degrees, the mileage on the vehicle, the auto off options turned off right now, and we've got 350 kilometers to empty. Now if I go down, we get um, a fuel economy rating, uh, I've got a trip one reading, which gives me a bunch of driving information. Down again, my intelligent four wheel drive. So as I'm driving, you're gonna see these gauges move, letting me know my four wheel drive, um, how it's working. And then we've got off-road mode. So if I turn my steering wheel, you'll see the angle of the steering wheel change. And we've got angle of ascent and angle of uh, approach and stuff like that. So um, scroll down one more time. If I have a trailer hooked up, we can test the trailer lights. Um, there's no active trailer right now. Uh, and then seat belts, this one's cool. So this lets you know um, if anybody's buckled up, uh, it will display in there. I'm just gonna plug in passenger seat belt and bam, you can see. So you can tell who is buckled or not buckled. Um, so that is pretty nice. Um, again, you can set these to whatever you want. Um, and then this screen will change a little more if we use, if equipped, the uh, cruise control, intelligent cruise control. So they all have cruise control. So if we press this on, um, we'll see the cruise come up and then we have distance control on this one so if i press that it will let me know what distance we are to follow the vehicle in front of us and then this one has the lane keep so or the, the lane centering sorry so if i press this button it'll actually kind of auto steer for us and keep us in the middle of the road um, we also have the lane departure system so if i press that on or off uh, it will let me know and that's toggled on just on the end of this stock right here on your signal light um, yeah, this is basically a pretty easy gauge pack, easy to understand, nice displays, all that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully that was informative for you. All right. Thanks everyone.